Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I'm getting ready to explain this whole palette that I got laid out. And um, I was going to make it just a clip, but I think I'll make it a video. So stand by and get ready to see. Um, this is going to be for the guest bedroom. I'm just about ready to get in there, y'all. All right, y'all. Hold on. Hey, y'all. Y'all, I'm working on this guest room. And I know all of y'all about done with me. Y'all, your girl has been sick. You know that. I am single and disabled. All right? So, <laughs> this is, you'll find this clip somewhere in my, today's vlog. Anyway, um, I finally have come to a um, uh, decision on what I was going to do for the room, the guest room. This is the last room. Y'all, the room was being used for storage. It was a, a bunch of junk in there. I'm clearing it out. I was deciding on what I was going to take to storage or what I was going to get rid of. Um, I'm still doing it. It's not completely done, but as soon as it's cleared out, I'm going to take y'all in there and I'm going to put it together in one day. So now, okay, let's start. I gave myself a $400 budget, okay? Because I said, I'm not putting too much room into it. You know, ain't nobody coming to visit me, but I want it to look like I want it to look, okay? So I... I'm taking my time and I am looking for sales. I am paying full price for absolutely nothing because that's how you stay in a budget. Okay. At this point, I think I'm at about $235 and I don't even need to buy anything else. Maybe some greenery. I think I already found something in here that I didn't know what to do with that. I'm going to put in there. But other than that, y'all, I don't need, oh, and I'm looking for one piece of artwork, but I'm trying to thrift it or find it on complete total discount. So, let me show y'all what I'm doing. Here is my palette. Now, the mustard, I don't have to use. I'm just going to show y'all in the video when I first put the bed, bed um, the mm, guest bedroom video out. I'm going to show you how you can take any color with what I'm doing. You can take turquoise, lavender, burgundy, anything you want with the palette that I'm using. And uh, let me pop that out some. There you go. So you can take anything you want. And you'll be able to put this with this, okay? So, this bed, this here's the um, quilt that I'm going to use. This is going to be my main quilt. This is by Ugg. I showed y'all this in a haul. It's like a charcoal gray. Um, this was $46 and some odd cent on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond. All of these pillows, this textured one here, this one here, you're going to see that in a haul today. This one right here, you're going to see in a haul. This one right here, you're going to see in a haul. All of these were like $6 or less at Hobby Lobby or $5 or less. I think one of them, one or two of them might have been $5 in some I'd say. This throw right here was like 12 bucks at Amazon. Okay. Those sheets I already had, but I'm going to put them in. It's just like a marbled um, finish by Wake, um, what are they called? Wake Cloud. Wake in Cloud. I'm going to use those sheets. I like that brand. Um, this throw right, I mean, this piece of fabric, I got this from Hobby Lobby. Look at that. It's gray, but look how silvery in tones it is. It was $5 and some odd cent on sale for a yard. I bought a yard because this is going to cover the chair that goes to my desk. Um, you know, because I use that room as a, um, a little mini office too. These pillows I got for, from um, Mama Mia slip covers. And I did a, a brand deal for them. I did the giveaway for it. And Tammy, if you don't contact me, I'm going to give your pillows away. <laughs> but anyway, Tammy is local and we're supposed to be meeting up. But anyway, she won. She knew it. We just haven't had a chance to meet up yet. These curtains were 20 some dollars, but I put them in my shopping cart at Amazon, y'all. Yeah, I got on my pajamas. I put them in my um, shopping cart at Amazon. And then Amazon, about two weeks later, was like, hey, your uh, curtains in your... Um, Shopping cart went on sale. They were $14.24 or something after the sale. Yeah, nice percentage off. So it's just one pair. And I'm just going to do panels on each side of the window in there because it's blinds up. So Okay, so then this tray I just got from Crate and Barrel. I bought it for my room, but it was smaller than I thought. You see that? I'll, I'll keep a bed tray on my bed. I might put it in this room. I'm not sure. So just a little bed tray for my guest. Then, this table I got from Target for $30. Side table. Y'all done found something else I like. And I might be ordering it. But I'll be switching, out, switching it out to go in my room. 
and taking the ones in my room and putting them in the other room. But I don't know if that's going to happen. That's what I really want to do. But anyway, this, this lamp right here, y'all see I was trying to put it in every room in this house. Well, it's going to work in the guest room. It's going to work in there. So it's white. It's shorter. It's the guest room. The bedding in there is a, the tufted charcoal gray bed. You know, just a simple bed. Um, fabric bed. So the grays and the blacks and the creams and all will go perfect in there. So this lamp, I paid $10 at Goodwill. I bought a pair. So I paid $20 for the pair. And I paid $30 for each table. So it was like 80 bucks for the tables and the uh, lamps. And then all the bedding all together, what, all of this right here on the couch wasn't but maybe about 140 bucks for everything here. I am painting the chair. I paid $5 for the chair. All I got to do is put the last coat of uh, varnish on there. And then we'll be ready to go and put this room together. So, got a few more little touch-ups, but I'll be working with y'all through that. But I wanted to keep you up on what was going on with the bedroom. I know it seems like it's taking a long time. But when you are doing this on a budget and you set a budget, you got to stay in said budget. You know what I mean? You got to stay in there. It takes time. You can't go out one day and just buy everything in the store because then you're buying everything and risking paying full price. So all of this was collected from all over different stores, Hobby Lobby, Amazon, Bed Bath & Beyond, thrift store, Target, all on sale. You know what I mean? Deeply discounted. So like I said, I'm at about 220 maybe now. Um, no more than 240 altogether. I don't even think it's that. I'm gonna I'm tally it all up in the end. But you will see, I probably won't even spend my $400 budget on this, redoing the whole room. And this is gonna be a thing like, um, you know, your auntie gave you some um, furniture, because I got dressers in there that I bought when I first moved here, okay? And they're brown. Um, and they are eventually going to get painted, but they won't be painted on this video because I just don't have the physical ability to go in there and take the bed apart, move the dresser so I can paint them and put plastic under it and all that. I don't have that physical ability right now. But um, I just want to show you how, say you just move out or you're, restart, you're starting over and you found some dressers and a bed somewhere, how you can take and give yourself a small budget and you will be able to pull your room together and make it look like somebody came in and designed it for you. And that's all I want to do in this video. But again, like I said, you see this pillow right here? This was five bucks at Hobby Lobby. This one right here, I, I, I want to say it might even been three seventy five or something. I don't know. You'll see it in the video. Like I said, that this uh, fabric was 40% off of $8.99. So I think it came to $5 and some cent for the uh, yard that I got. And then um, this right here, this was right originally, mm, I can't talk, originally $129. I got it for $46 and some odd cent on clearance at Bed Bath & Beyond. This one right here, another $5 pillow or less. Those, like I said, I got them for doing a brand deal. You know, and that, oh, I didn't even show y'all this one. Look at this one. I didn't put it in a kit. I didn't put a pillow form in it yet. But I got two of these from um, $3.99, two of these from Hobby Lobby. And this will be just something to throw in to break up all this pattern because I'm going for a lot of pattern as a sneak tip. You see even the pattern on the lamp there? And then the pattern here, the pattern here, the pattern there. And then there's even a pattern on the quilt. It all makes it look designer, y'all. And then I'm going to throw in this mustard for fall right now. It can change out at any given time. You can add any color to this that you want. I'm not on video today, y'all. I'm going to be vlogging. I don't know if this is going to be a... I might put this up as a video by itself just to explain that part to y'all. And then I'm going to be vlogging later on today after I get dressed. But I'm getting ready to get dressed and hit these streets. Get out here in these here streets. But yeah, so anyway, like I said, I'll throw in a little bit of um, greenery and a couple other little pieces that I've already had that I went through my stuff for. And found, I mean, I went through my stuff and I found some stuff. And then that tray will possibly be on the bed. I got that from Crate and Barrel. I ordered it last week. It just came today. It was... $29.99, but 50% off. So I got it for $14 something. And after tax, it was $16 something. And they shipped it to me for free. It's free shipping on this item. So yeah. Anyway, like I said, those tables were $30. Bucks. So, you know, the thing is, um, you can do this, y'all. You can do it. It's easy. You just got to know what you like. You got to know that, um, you know, you can do it by yourself. You don't need nobody else to do it. 
You just got to take your time. It's not something you're going to go in the store and buy, to go out one day and buy the stuff and be able to bring it home and put it together. It's about knowing what you want, trial and error. I've sent back so many different things that I purchased online. I bought, I think this is my sixth uh, quilt that I bought before I was okay with what it was. Yeah. Anyway, I ain't going to hold y'all no more. I will chit chat with you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.